In this Demolition Master tutorial we will cover one of the most important objects, bullets. In 1.1 Demolition Master has been improved a lot in bullet options, increasing exponentially his possibilities. Bullet is an object emitted from one shooting object that will break all the other materials in scene. Concrete, wood, or glass. In bullet rollout you only need to check on, specify your shooting object node and move your timeline. You can move or rotate shooting object, bullet objects will update his position and alignment. Principal parameters of bullet objects are shape, new in version 1.1. Bullet size, increasing size will increase bullet mass also. Lifespan is the bullet life in frames. If you want to do some explosions, keep a short lifespan so the bullet only interact with fragments on impact time. Increase or decrease bullet mass to change explosion behavior. Low mass bullet produce some nice cracking effect on object without smashing it. Speed controls bullet speed. Sometimes your bullet has enough mass and speed but your object is not fracturated. This is because the object has to be fracturated just before the impact point. Intersect property controls this. Increasing it your object will be fragmentated before, and decreasing it will fragmentated sometime after. Normally you don't have to touch it. If you want more than one impact you can use extra bullets. They are the same of bullet objects but with the most important parameters to play with. Add a new shooting object, can be any 3D object on scene, select it. Check on, and change its individual parameters. Frame to shoot, lifespan, velocity, mass, and size. You can use up to 5 extra bullets. This tutorial is recorded with an i5 Intel laptop, with 4GB of RAM and a GT520M graphic card. Demolition Master runs at good frames per second, but as all in CG, with better PC, better performance. Here you can activate the 5 extra bullets with his characteristic properties. Also you can check on or off your bullet in any time. From now, any change from previous Demolition Master version, but now starts the fun part. In Demolition Master 1.1 you can check or uncheck gravity for bullets. Play it, and see how your bullet is affected by gravity. Now it disappears, this is for a short lifespan, increase it to an infinite number. Another cool feature, now bullets can break based on impact point. Go to bullet break rollout, and check on. Bullet we are a frame color change from green to yellow. At impact point bullet is fragmented and turns in a red we are a frame color. You can control this fragmentation, we will see it later.
on debris rollout now is a bullet big check box, this will add debris on your bullet fragmentated faces. On bullet big debris rollout you can control all debris properties, increase size base. With debris you can add extra detail on your simulation without lot of CPU usage. More bullet object features. Now, from surface checkbox. This simple checkbox will give you lot of fun. Create a plane. Rotate it facing your wall object. Set this plane to be your shooting object. Right now bullet is following the Y direction from pivot point. Check on from surface. Bullet is following shooting object normals direction. Not impressed? Wait for that. Change birth type to particles per second. Bullets will be placed on random points. Change the rate to see more or less bullets. Now size variation is important, increase it to see some randomness on your bullets. Every bullet will cause an interactive fragmentation. Using multiple bullets for interactive fragmentation is slower than using one bullet obviously. Consider to bake your simulation. You can apply any modifier to the surface, also try animating it. Here I apply a bend modifier, you can see how bullets are following normal's direction, concentrating all bullets in one point. Shooting from one object is so easy. As you can see thinking particles dynamic solver is fast and accurate. You can change shooting position and have a real-time feedback over changes. On M-Frame you can specify when your shooting object will stop emitting bullets. Try using different shooting objects to emit bullets, animating it will produce cool effects. Here I use a sphere, but you can use anything. Adjust speed to your needs. Also you can change gravity on general properties rollout. New feature on 1.1 are shapes, now you are not limited on sphere bullets. By default you are emitting sphere low objects, try using another from the list. You have 8 different bullet shapes. And in custom shape you can use any 3D object in your scene.
Also you can spin your bullets. Spin time equal to zero is no spinning, and this value is how much time takes the object to do a turn. So less spin time will produce quicker spinning. So we can emit lots of bullets from a surface, and we have bullet break, we can combine it? Absolutely yes, and will produce very good results. As you can see Demolition Master is calculating the impact point, and producing smaller fragments on it. We can control the look of the fragmentation on bullet break rollout. Increase frags value to fragment in more pieces of the bullet. Dist frags controls the dimension of fragmentation impact, and active area frags activated on impact time. These two parameters are relative to bullet size. Bullets impacting with other bullets will be fragmented also. We only have one shooting object generating bullets from a surface. But Demolition Master is using normals to calculate the direction, so we can do a little trick. Copy your original shooting object, convert the first shooting to editable poly and attach the second one. Now they are one mesh and both will emite bullets. On impact point they will be fragmented. We can use the new features to fill objects with bullets. Here we have a glass, we add it to deflectors materials. Also there is a shooting object in the scene emitting cubes. You only hit play. Ups. There is no gravity for bullets, check it. This is fast. Change in any time bullet shape and see how Demolition Master updates the scene near in real time. This is 3DS Max, so we have to try it with teapots. There is a last one shape, custom shape. Here I have a clothespin. is actually emitting it because actually is on bullet geometry rollout. Forget all the parameters here, the only important one is pick object. You can pick one or multiple objects. Change bullet size. Also we don't want size variation for this. 
How you can see in this tutorial Demolition Master is really fast for setup demolitions and not only demolitions. With new bullets properties in 1.1 you can create artistic and creative works just in minutes. Download Demolition Master on nvfx.com